right, guys, we're back here. Um, cool, we had a question. It looks like uh, when I left out of here, Samuel had a question here, and hopefully, um, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, actually, wait for uh, a couple more people to show up here, and I'm going to scroll down. If Samuel's here, go ahead and throw me a quick chat, say you're here. And like I said, we'll just wait a minute here. Randall's here, Cole. Yeah, we're gonna wait another minute here or so, and then uh, we'll get going here. Um, but yeah, if Samuel's in here, go ahead and uh, throw me a quick chat that you're here. Because you had a question right when we left here and I didn't catch it. All right, we're going to get going here. Okay. Um, no, there's not any. No, we don't do any more T2s or T3s there, Gordon. Um, we're just, you know, it's just, in fact, you know, what the schedule's looking like after December is we're only going to go down to two hours once a week, and that's going to be every Wednesday. We'll go into more on that uh, later on next month uh, when it gets closer to that time. Uh, and stuff like I said, we're, you know, we're not doing any more T2s or T3s anymore. Uh, we're going to go down to one a week, and it's going to be every Wednesday for two hours um, and stuff on there. We haven't nailed down any times or anything yet on there. Um, but, yeah, um, and I don't know. I don't think we, we've actually had any T2 Bob arts at all in, um, in the past or anything. Uh, with that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get going here. So Samuel had a question here. Again, I don't know if he's back or not. Uh, doesn't look like he's active, it looks like. But anyways, um, if you guys lose your Bob Art tab for whatever reason, either X out of it or something happens on your computer, go up to an open ribbon here and check off the Art Manager box. Once you do that, uh, your um, Bob Art should come up. So, you know, if I uncheck it, you'll see it's gone from down here. If I right-click again and left-click on it again, there it is right there uh, on that. So, all right. So what we're going to do here, like I said, we're going to get more into the uh, toolpath side here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say no on that one here. We'll come back to this one here, but I'm going to, um, let's see, come up here and let's see. So we're going to just do a two axis on here um, with this. So you can see here, I got my, um, my logo here. So again, now it's just going into the cam tree here. Uh, we're going to do new job. We're going to do milling, but I'm going to change this. And again, this is I'm going to just do laser here. But this is the same thing for uh, plasma and water jet also. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and hit stock wizard. Again, we're working with 2D geometry, not worried about the workpiece. Even when we get in 3D, not worried about it. Uh, from there, I'll go ahead and hit the next button. You'll notice it's picking up my overall X and Y here and Z. Again, that's a number uh, one point. Zero or one inch is always the default. I'm going to change that to half inch. And let's see. Yeah, everything should be good here. On that, I'm going to just leave it as is. On there, let's see. I'm going to go 13 on you. And for some reason, my mouse keeps... There we go. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Hit the next button. I got my X, Y, Z. If I need to adjust it, again, I go to the origin here. 
and then just left click on a snap point wherever that may be or wherever you want it to be. In this case, I'm gonna keep it in the corner here. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now you'll see here, I get the laser. Again, this is gonna do the same thing for uh, water jet and plasma also. I'm gonna right click on machine setup one here and I'm gonna to go to mill two axes. Select my geometry. I'm just gonna do a control A. Looks good. Yeah, so I should have one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks about, actually I should have less than that. I should have one, two, and three. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm noticing that I got different chains in here. So I'm gonna hit cancel on here and just cancel. And I'm gonna blank out my stock. Cause one thing I did not do here on this one, do a clean up and optimize as a start here. Okay, no corrections. That looks fine. So I'm gonna hold my shift key down and left click. Okay, there we go. Now I'm starting to see some issues. So right there, I gotta fix that. And that's just an easy, should be a quick trim. I'm gonna hit cancel and go into select mode again. And let's see, I'm gonna, And that is probably because of my, so I'm gonna go trim two on this one here. So the trim screen probably is the one that did that. So I'm gonna kind of guess that the other one's gonna be right over here on this one, but we're gonna find out here in a second. So again, I'm gonna hold my shift key down and left click, which, yep, I'm right. So, which is good. I'm glad this is happening here. So if you don't watch what you're doing, uh, you will make some mistakes in here. So let's see, I'm gonna go here. Let's go to utilities, trim two. So we'll like to trim these two together. Mm, you know what, I'm not gonna go with that one. I'm gonna go with the line. So I'm gonna come here left click on that snap point and then left click on this snap point and I'm going to go into utilities now and deform and again I'm just going to kind of deform that out just a little bit just kind of smooth that out a little bit so should be good now so now I'm going to just left click and all right, that should be good. Now I'm gonna just left click here, that's good. And again, I got something going on right there. We can do a trim two. So just one of those things that when you see all those, because uh, I should only see three profile chains, that's good. All right, looks good. All right, so now I can go back over here to my cam tree, right click on machine setup one, mill two axis, we're gonna do this all over again. Window select, and let's see, I got four in there. There should not be four. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a chain select. That's what I should have. So I probably got something way out here. Thought I saw something on my screen there. That is picking up. Again, not too worried about it right now, or it could be down here. And it could be a, just a little speck it's picking up. So uh, again, I'm not worried about that. That should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and okay that brings me back into the geometry selection window. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. I got my top of job, bottom of feature. Again, the total depth, I'm not too worried about. Again, with laser and plasma water jet, because it's gonna go all the way through anyways for me. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. 
get into my uh, strategy. I'm going to get rid of the rough. I'm going to just use a finish pass on this one. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and hit next button. Now I got my tabs in here. I'm not, I'm not going to use the tabs on the outside, but I will use a tab on the inside part here. So it's going to be th these two right here. So I'm going to look at this one here. Now with the tabs, I got one tab that's showing up here right now. I can use this with or without any leads. So what's going to happen is going to come up to this point here. It's going to lead out, turn off, move over, turn back on, lead back in, and come around. I can set that right here. I can set a length and a radius if I need to on there. Um, I can also use my width and length. My width is from this point to this point right here. Uh, on here, angle and um, height, not too worried about. Again, it is, you know, this is, uh, you know, um, a laser plasma water jet. For a router, you would utilize this. This, I'm not too worried about uh, in here. Uh, let's see. Number of tabs. If I put in here, let's go four. That's actually not too bad, but again, I'd probably change that uh, in there. Uh, I could do between length, and I could set in here, let's go six inches. Uh, let's try two inches, just to show you. So every two inches, there's a tab on there. Um, will this also work in wire EDM? <laughs> no, um, not with uh, wire EDM on there um, unless you got it start and stops that's pretty much your tabs that you use on there there's not a specific uh, tabs you would have to actually yeah you would set that in I think if I'm not mistaken that's on the feature uh, page um, for that in there I hope that answer your question there um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to change it back to number of tabs. I'm going to change it to one good uh, here just because I'm going to use manual here. And I'm going to click edit tab. Now here it's going to, you know, choose, you know, which tab I want to use in here. I'm going to left click on it. And I'm just going to put one maybe right here. And it's picking known snap points also. So I'm just going to put one here and here on there. And then I'm just going to OK that. Um, yep, exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to do the same thing out here. I'm going to use manual tabs. Uh, that should be good. And again, there's no really specific order you can put. You have to put this in. There we go. And that should be good there. I'm going to OK that. And there we go. Now, I think this actually looks a little weird uh, from you uh, or from uh, the thing because of the way these actually are going to actually be on the inside here, these lead in and lead outs on there. They're not going to be on the outside there. So I think that's just a little misleading, so don't worry about that. Uh, once we get that set up, now those are tabs. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but you can if you want to uh, for whatever reason. So, again, half inch is, uh, you know, the default number in there. Uh, you can also, you know, put in, let's say, 0.125. And that's for all your chains right there. So let's change this one to 125. Make sure you set them up separately on there. There's no um, way to... Unless you do active chains, it will change everything. So I always forget about that one. Uh, from there, we'll go ahead and hit next. Posting. How do you want to set this up in your machine? G uh, forty, or excuse me, G fifty four, G fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven. If you need to utilize that. If you got a rotary, you can set up a rotary angle. Uh, how do you want your code to come out? It depends on uh, what your uh, what your uh, post is set up for. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, 
Travis uh, commented here, uh, water jet wise, uh, it's, uh, this is very useful. Good. Yeah, like I said, the uh, setup for the laser is still going to be the same for plasma and water jet also uh, in here. So, again, um, tool size, whatever your tool diameter is. Again, I don't know what everybody's using, so, again, I'm just going to use defaults. If you need to set your feed rate, dwell, you know, whatever parameters you got set up for water jet or plasma there. What kind of compensation do you want to do? Make sure this box is checked off. Do you apply tabs? If it's unchecked, you won't get any tabs when you uh, output your um, tool path here. You won't use the system comp that's far from milling. Uh, you will uh, possibly end up using uh, left-right uh, compensation. Uh, you'll have an option here for step-downs if you need to utilize that, which you probably won't, especially for uh, laser plasma water jet. So again, bypass this page. Now for leads, you'll probably end up using here. So you got plunge, and you probably won't use ramp. You're going to use some sort of lead-in possibly in here which is totally fine. Uh, whatever you want to use, definitely use it. You know, set that uh, parameter up there so you can go, uh, let's go 1, 2, and 120. Uh, whatever you do on the lead in, the lead out will do the same here. If you uh, uncheck it, this will activate where you can use something different on the lead out if you want to. From there, you hit next. This you might end up using here. Uh, sharp, now this is, we're just looking at external in here. If you want sharp corners, do you want rounded? Do you want loop radius, length, or triangle in there? And you'll set the parameters as needed in here. So basically the toolpath is going to come up here past the part, make a little jog in here, and then come back the other direction. So it doesn't, if you're trying to make a sharp corner, it's not going to, it's more for the plasma laser guys, it will not, uh, burn around those corners in there uh, for you. So you got that option in there also. Same thing with the internals too on there. You also have bisect line here too. So just climb right up, go in the same, you know, geometry and then back out again and around. Again here, we're just going to use sharp. Uh, we got machine sequence. So if you got multiples that you're cutting, uh, you can set up, you know, different sequences in there. And then you got advanced feed rates if you need to utilize that. So from there, we'll just go ahead and hit compute. And we should be able to, all right, cool. So I just wanted to make sure, I wanted to zoom in, because that laser is kind of small in there. So I just wanted to make sure that we're on the right, on the correct side there. So I just kind of zoom in and zoom out on there, just real quick. And you can see this one's actually going in the wrong direction. So, with that, and I can see with the lead in here. So, what I'm going to do here is I could right-click on this, and I'm going to go to Modify, or I can right-click on Geometry, hit Reselect. Come in here. Now, remember, this is your start and stop and what direction you're going in. So, I'm going to actually change it to, let's say, down here. Then I'm going to zoom in on it and left-click on the arrow go in a different direction. Now on this one, I'm going to just change to right here. That should be fine. And this one, I'm going to change to right here. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Right click on this and Compute Toolpath. And now my start and stops in different places. Now you can see here, there's my um, tabs if I want to. Uh, again, you may not want to use uh, lead in and lead out, especially on the inside there, so you might have to do separate uh, toolpath there, uh, just because, you know, you're going to actually see that. Because if you're keeping this part on there, you might want to use, you know, uh, just a vertical lead in and lead out. So in that case, that's pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on that feature, and we'll just come down here to copy. And now I'm going to right-click on this uh, on uh, Machine Setup 1 here, go down to Paste Feature. I get this little dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and say OK because I am going to keep everything the same. All I'm going to do is right-click on the geometry, hit Reselect. And actually, I'm just going to change the outside here. So I'm going to start from the inside, work my way out. 
So I'm going to left click on here and again, start at this position, left click, say OK, compute that. Now I want to right click on geometry, hit reselect. Now I'm going to hold my shift key down and left click on this. It's called deselecting. Now I'm going to say OK and compute that. So it should be good. I got a toolpath right there going in the correct direction. on that. And then from there, before I do anything else, because I got this saved out already, I'm going to go ahead and just hit save up here, just because. Uh, so now, actually, I'm going to go in here and edit this and go into leads. And I'm going to change that to vertical, hit compute. Nope, did that wrong. Did that one wrong. Blend, compute, it's this one right here. Leads, vertical, good. There we go. And again, hit save. Always hit save whenever you can. We'll hit start simulation up here. And then from there, uh, let's see, I'm going to just slow it down just a little bit. And there we go. So again, you'll see the uh, tabs right there. So it's start, stop right there. So for if you know if you're using this, as, you know we'll just say an artistic piece for whatever reason, you know you get you just basically getting rid of all the outside, but you're keeping everything on the inside here, just so you know it's not open all the way through. Yeah, you know, whatever you want to do with that on there. Any questions or anything with that? All right. So yeah, let's kind of yeah, we'll move on to the other one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. Whoops, got that open on this screen here. So we got our part here, three mod, three D model. Again, like I said, we're going to only worry about uh, just a planer. Like I said, everybody in here has a different uh, skill level. They have a different. Um, uh, software there as far as what they have for um, tool path, excuse me, tool pass there. Um, so that's why I'm only getting, everybody should have at least Mill Express. So that's why I'm going to just do the um, planer tool path. So with that, again, right click, new job. We're going to do milling. I'm going to do uh, BC3X mill, nothing big. Stock wizard. Not worried about the workpiece. And even if I did have, I couldn't really select that. Actually, it does select, but it does not use it in my um, um, simulation on there. So I want to make sure, you know, the workpiece is really only for a solid model. It's not for really art models or STLs on there. So I'm going to just bypass that. I'm going to go ahead and hit the next button. This brings up my... Stock definition, you'll notice here it's picking up X, Y, and Z. So that's good. Uh, from there, we'll go ahead and uh, just leave it in the corner there. That should be fine. I'm going to zoom in. And again, I'll just, because the way this is set up, I want this at the top of here. Then we'll just OK that. And then uh, from there, we'll go ahead and blank out the stock. Right click on machine setup one. We're going to mill three axes here. Select geometry. I'm going to pick the art model. I'm going to come down here to boundaries. And I'm going to choose this outer. And that's why I left it there on that. So again, I'm going to hit OK. Brings me back into the geometry selection. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. I get my uh, feature page here. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and just choose planar. 
And we'll go ahead and hit next. We got our posting page. And then we have our um, tool page here. So we'll just use the, let's say, let's just go down to a quarter ball. Seems a, there we go. And again, I could probably do this right on the tool page here. Uh, from there, I'll go ahead and hit next. I get into my cut patterns here. I can do zig, zigzag, back and forth. Uh, let's see, 90 degrees, that's going to go in the long direction. Now remember, I can always put in another planar toolpath going in the opposite direction. So I got that uh, two in there. So 90 direction is going to go in the Y direction for us there. I can start and climb or conventional. Remember, it's going zigzag, so it's going to go back and forth, so it's going to be climb conventional or conventional climb, conventional climb, and so on. Uh, from there, we'll go ahead and hit next. We get into our step over. So I'm going to make this real small. I'm going to go 20 thousandths. Everything else I'm going to leave alone. We're going to go part depth on this. Uh, we got our leads here. So entry, what kind of entry do you want to do? Plunge, ramp, or spiral? And what kind of lead in and lead out do you want to use if you want to use one uh, from here? So from there, we'll go ahead and hit next. Extends just going right up to the edge or to our uh, stop point there, which is our boundary. We're going to set it up to. But if we weren't using a boundary, uh, we could go part bottom and just waterfall all the way down quarter of an inch. Even if we didn't have the boundary on here and we said to uh, extend, it would just come right up to the edge of that art model on all sides there. So again, we'll calculate it from tool tip, tool center. And then we'll just use the follow on here because we're not using a step down or a part depth in here. And then we got our advanced feed rates again. So from here, we'll just go ahead and hit compute. And there we go. So I'm just going to come up here, hit save. Hit start simulation here. And I'm just going to leave it at that speed here. And it's just going to cut back and forth all the way. I can just kind of speed that up a little bit. And you can see what it's doing there. Like I said, you can go back and forth if you need to. Or uh, other direction, I mean. And in the simulation, you can zoom in and zoom out because you can kind of see. Now, it looks kind of rugged right now. That's just with the simulation. Um, just because it's, uh, you know, it's taking a lot to process here. So once it's done, you're going to see it kind of shift uh, around a little bit there. You can see our progress bar is almost done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we go. And like I said, you can zoom in and zoom out on there. Um, so you got something in there. With that. And that's just all setting it up to the bob art and everything on there. Um, any questions or anything? <clears throat> now, again, just with the bob art, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blank this out. Just because you got the bob art doesn't mean you'll have to go through bob art with everything. If you got an image that you want to use, um, you can also, um, where'd you go? I know there was, there it is. Change it up on me. Um, anyways, 
you could, you know, go through to create 3D if you wanted to. So if you did, you know, if it, you weren't liking what you were doing in the uh, Bob Art section, you know, as far as the embossments and stuff, I mean, you could definitely, you know, go through. It's going to be a little blocky, uh, but you can definitely do that. So, you know, I can come in here and uh, I'm just going to window, I'm just going to select this and put this in a new window here. Copy. So with the Create 3D, I, you can do an extrude curve, let's say. Again, I'm just going to select the number one here. You know, positive direction. Let's go, you know, the same thing. Let's go 0.25. And then a draft of, you know, you can put in, let's see what 10 does. Again, I always like to look at this in a number two. So you just got to kind of be careful on what you're doing, especially like right there, you're losing some. Um, and that could be the geometry too that we got on there. So you might have to, you know, re readjust your geometry. I'm just going to do one or zero here. So you can do something like that on there. Same thing with the... And let's go zero. You know, something like that, if you want to. You know, however you want to do that, you can definitely, uh, you know, utilize it the way you need to. Um, in there, <coughs> excuse me. Again, you might want to put these in different layers. That's another thing you might want to start doing is layers. Um, so we'll just call that one solid. Whoops. And we'll select both of those. And we're going to right click in the middle of the CAD screen, go down here to layers, go to solid here, turn off 2D. Now I can Boolean these two together here. And now with that, I can come over here to solid fill it and I can use chamfer or, you know, whatnot in here. Let's go 0.05 or let's just put in a 0.1, see what it does. And I'm going to hit S on the keyboard so I can just kind of see this a little bit better. So again, if you don't want to use the Bob Art section for this, you can definitely, you know, for sure, use the 3D section here on this. And I've already got a mess up in there. There we go. That should work. Now, I like to do this on, on a lot of stuff here is show preview and just make sure if it disappears, you know, it's not going to be good. Um, and then I'm going to hit S again. But you can see there I got a little round over in there. I can use the chamfer, whatever. So you don't have to use the Bob Art. You can use Bob Art to get your 2D geometry if you need to, or open up a vector PDF file, you can do that. You can come into 3D if you wanted to and uh, utilize it that way. You don't have to use, you know, the embossments if you don't want to um, on there. Uh, you have, you know, different, you know, you, you can do whatever you want, basically, um, in there. Um, any questions or anything so far? Yeah, just let me make sure here. Again, you don't have to use, oops, that's not where I should have gone. 
Um, you can definitely use, you know, use any shapes. You can use shape library, you know, whatever you need to. Um, doesn't just have to be images, like I said. Um, Okay. So, yeah, any questions or anything? Just kind of, you know, just set everything up with uh, Bob R here, you know, just kind of give you an overview of everything. Any questions or anything? And again, I, I'm just looking at the uh, tenants there. Uh, Samuel, if you're back, because I know you had a question earlier right before we took off here. Um, just to let you know, you know, to answer your question, if you lost your bob art to get it back, right click in the middle of the open screen up here on your ribbon, make sure your art manager is checked off on there. And if it's not working, you know, feel free, and this for not only for Samuel, but for everybody else, feel free to give our guys a call and tech support. They'll be glad to help you out and, uh, you know, um, get you going on there with that. Yeah, any other questions or anything? Cool. Well, I tell you what, I'm pretty much done. I know it was a short one here today, uh, but uh, hopefully you got something out of it there. Um, but, you know, like I said, if you got any uh, questions and you got tech support, feel free to give our tech guys a call. Um, if you guys got any training on your account, feel free to give us a call. We'll get you set up with uh, some training, either online training or if you want, you know, us to either come out or you guys come down to Florida. Give us a call. We'll give you a quote on that also. But any other than that, we are pretty much done here. Um, I'll be here until about the top of the hour, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Yeah, if you got any questions, just let me know.